Nothing says I'm taking a picture more than this motion here. <laughs> Now, sometimes you want you don't want people to know you're taking a picture. You want to be a little stealthier. Maybe you're taking photographs of your kids at home, a little bit of you know home documentary work, or maybe you're trying to capture some street photography moments without people knowing you're taking a photograph. All right, so let's set up your camera to be super stealthy so no one knows you're taking photographs. Now, there's a couple of requirements. Number one, you need a Fujifilm camera that has a touch screen. So sorry, X-T1, X-T10. This won't work on the X-Pro2, it won't work on the X-Pro1, or the X-T2. You want a Fujifilm camera, I can't. Now preferably you want a Fujifilm camera that has this kind of flip screen. It's not totally necessary. You can do it on the X100 series if it has a touch screen, or the X-E3 series, which also doesn't have a flip screen. It gets a little harder if you have to hold the camera up and you're looking at it, okay? It's not as stealthy, not as stealthy. Also, if you have the new X-T4, then your screen is gonna be you know, sticking out to the side and people will see what you're doing on your screen. <laughs> Another case for this flip screen. Next, you have to make sure your screen touch is on. So go to the screen setup menu and find where it says to turn the, the touch screen on. Once the touch screen is on, just make your option on the screen go to shot. There's some other options, off, AF, you have to go to the one that says shot. Now next, you wanna change your view mode here. You wanna change your view mode to LCD only. And the reason for that is because if we have the sensor available to us, anytime we put our finger close to shoot, it will turn off the LCD, which defeats the purpose. So make sure that LCD is on. Now this method will drain your battery more, so make sure you have 12 batteries. Next, change the camera mode to electronic shutter. You can find that under the camera menu. Change the shutter mode to electronic shutter. And then if your electronic shutter is making fake camera noises, you'll have to go to your sound setup and make sure the electronic sound is completely off. Because if not, you're gonna get some weird fake camera noises. Now we're gonna talk focusing in a second, but one of the options is to autofocus and some of the Fujifilm lenses are a lot louder. So it doesn't make any sense that your whole camera is silent and stealthy and then you hear. Uh, so some of the older lenses have the motors that you can hear louder than any shutter sound. However, this only matters if you're doing autofocus. I'm gonna show you a method where the camera is completely set to shoot, it's fully focused and you won't have to worry about that. All right, now you're, we'll talk settings in a second, but now your camera's totally silent. And so you can be completely stealthy by holding it a certain way. Because obviously if we hold the camera this way, people walking up to you will know that you're taking pictures. But what if you held the camera this way? <laughs> well now, <laughs> that sounded like crusty. The <laughs> well now you're just holding the camera and with your left hand, the screen now can take pictures. And so this is what it looks like. If you're looking down at your camera, you could even put like a stupid, confused look on your face. Like, what is, what are these settings here? I don't know. You know, if you hold the camera a certain way, you can shoot up at people and now you're just changing settings. Okay, so this is one look you can do. You can also hold the camera like this and use your thumbs, like you're texting, you know? So maybe you're just, that looks a little too obvious, doesn't it? <laughs> that one's dumb. You're like, mm. You can also pretend you're swiping like you're looking at photographs too. Each time you touch the screen, it will take a photograph. And you know what? Holding it this way works as well, you know, because you're holding the camera. Uh, this one looks like you are filming a little bit more. So, you know, we should, this, this is the best. Just do this, very stealthy. Again, the point is that this is not seen, okay? And what's cool, it'd be f great in the future if camera companies can set the shutter to be a custom button in the back because then, you know, you can shoot with a thumb or something, you know, and hold the camera like this. But for now, the screen works great. All right, so what about settings? Now, exposure settings totally depend on your situation. If you're doing street photography and it's totally bright and sunny out, well, the camera can take care of most of the settings. If I were in that situation, I'd probably put an auto ISO on because the camera's gonna probably pick a low ISO. I'll probably put it on the A here for the shutter speed so that it probably picks the shutter speed. It's gonna pick some high shutter speed that can freeze any of my street photography. And then I'd probably choose an aperture myself. So I would probably pick something like 
f4, f5, 6, or f8, depending on what I'm going for with depth or bokeh or anything. Well, what about if you're doing indoor photography or maybe you're doing street photography where it's dimmer and there's a lot of shade? Well, then you're at the mercy of the higher ISOs. So you're gonna have to pick an ISO you're comfortable with and a shutter speed that is, uh, you know, for what you're trying to freeze. So if it's just your kids at home and they're not moving, you could get away with one one hundredth of a second, one sixtieth of a second. But if you're trying to freeze action on the street and it's dimmer out, you're gonna have to have higher ISOs. All right, for autofocus, probably the most reliable autofocus is gonna be to manually focus. So if it's really bright out and you're shooting at F8, maybe you're sitting on a bench and you're using what's called the fishing method. That's where you kind of find a cool composition and let subjects move into the scene for your street photography. Well, if everything's totally focused and totally ready, you could be standing there with your camera, maybe the scene's over there to the side, and you could completely be just touching the screen as people walk by. And everything's gonna be in focus because you pre-focus to a spot where people are gonna walk in. You're at F8, which means there's a lot of depth in the scene. And you can completely just peck away and you know get the shot you're looking for. So manually focus is probably more reliable. However, you can autofocus and shoot. The camera, if you're in shot mode, the camera will autofocus on single focus. It'll single focus and then shoot right away. If your subjects are not moving too fast or moving th in this plane across the scene, it works great. The camera goes zzz, pop, zzz, pop. This again depends your autofocus on what you're shooting. If you're shooting cyclists that are coming through the city, this, this won't work, okay? You're gonna have to pre-focus for those shots. Now, continuous focus will work too. The camera will try to track a little bit and then shoot. But again, you're gonna have to test, you know, with what camera you have to see how well it works. I tried it a little bit with my daughter and it, she's strolling at me as if she was on the street. And it works okay, it grabs some, but I probably would pre-focus and shoot. Although I have the camera set to manual focus, I also have my back button focus to maybe focus somewhere on the sidewalk and then wait and then shoot when someone moves into that area. I recommend if you're shooting wide open, like if you want a little bit of depth in your street photography, you're shooting at F2, then keep the autofocus on because if your subjects are not really moving too much, the camera will focus lock on and uh, get a good shot at F2. But your best bet for street photography and for the stealth mode is to be in a zone focus, to completely be somewhere around F8, F11, there's a lot of depth. You're focusing somewhere maybe like three feet, about a meter in front of you to two meters, and then everything else will be in focus and you'll start to capture moments. This is great if you're shy, if you're trying to be stealthy, if you don't want people to know that you're taking pictures. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next time.